that. Looking at Mr. Revis, this rotating sprinkler, it waters his line up to a radius of seven feet. What do I have? Radius of seven feet. Guys, I've noticed that you are not writing the information that you know from the question here. And you're not underlining, circling, boxing, highlighting, whatevering the stuff that is important. You have to take out what's important and jot it down so that your answer is a little bit easier to find. So my radius is seven feet. What is the maximum number of square feet of lawn Mr. Rives can expect two sprinklers to cover? Use 3.14 for pi. What else is important? Okay, of course, pi. What else is important that's written in the question? Yes. Two sprinklers, which means what? Times two. What times two, though? Trick question. Is it circumference? Am I going in a circle for, for my sprinkler? The sprinkler just covers around a circle? It covers the inside. So, two area. So, area times two. Two areas. I write this down here for me so that when I solve my problem, I know what I need to do. I need the area twice. How do I find the area in the first place? Uh, pi times r squared. After this question, what do I not have that goes in my formula? Don't have r squared, which is what? How do I solve? I already did, I already squared it, so I don't have to do 49 times 49. Pi times 49. Um, what's 49 times about 3? 49. Uh, 8. Am I done? No. Why? I need two of them, so what do I need to do now? Mm -hmm. What's 147 times 2? Mm -mm, it's not going to end in an 8. It's not going to end in a 4. Oh, wait, yes, it is. My bad. Now, which answer is closest to 294, but it's got to be a little bit more? D, 307. Yes. Number two, Mr. Jaw builds a circular sandpit for a backyard play area. They've given me the key word there already. What's the word? Circular what? Circular what? No, I don't need radius. I've only read the first sentence. Oh, what's the area? Area. Circular area. Use a ruler to measure the radius of the model to the nearest centimeter. Where's my ruler? I had a ruler up here earlier today. It's going to be... Where's my ruler? It's pink. Yes, that ruler. Can I have that, please? Another student was using it earlier today. Thank you. Hey, excuse you. About how long is this radius? Three centimeters.
So if one centimeter is one foot, then three centimeters is three, three feet. feet. All right, found the radius. Mr. Jaw needs one bag of sand for every five square feet in the sand pit. One bag for every five square feet. If bags of sand cost $8 each, about how much will Mr. Jaw spend on sand? Use 3.14 for pi. I'm even going to make it a little bit more easy and say about three. Because it says about. So it's telling me five square feet need one bag and then it's $8 per bag. There's a lot here to do. This is a very star-like question though. So what do I need? I don't know what my square footage is yet, so I can't worry about the five. Need to start at the beginning. What did it say at the beginning? Area. Area. I need area. How do I find area? Pi times R squared. What's R? Radius. Huh, radius is how much though? Three, three. three feet. There we go. What else do I need that's not given to me? I don't need a diameter. There's no D written here. Radius squared, which is who times who? Three times three, which is what? Nine, Nine. Nine. Oh, feet yeah, squared. Okay, now what do I do? A equals 3.14 times nine, which is approximately what? About 27. Okay, and then this is square feet. So that's my square footage. Then five square feet need a bag of sand. So what am I going to do here to figure out five Divide square feet? Five. Divide 27 by five. 27 divided by five. Five goes into 27 how many times? Five. Five times. Five times five? Five. Seven minus five? Bring down the point. 5.4. Okay, I know that since I've used three here, it's going to be a little less, or this is a little less than pi. Three is a little less than pi. So I need this to be a little bit more. Is everybody following me? So instead of assuming that I need 5.4 bags, how many bags should I assume that I need? Six. Six, because I need a little bit more. Six bags. Six times eight. Times eight. The Swan family installs an above ground pool. The circular pool covers 78 and a half square feet. Square feet. This was square footage down here. This is square footage. What have I done for the past two problems? Area. Area. So what am I going to need for square feet here? Area again. A equals? All right. What is the length in feet of the edge of the pool? Ooh. Now what do I need, though? So I'm going from area to circumference. There are a lot of steps here. This is another question that's like what you're going to see on the star and what you're going to see on the sim test. Use 3.14 for pi. 78.5 square feet. What do I need to do with this and pi? What is 78 and a half square feet? Is it my radius, diameter, area, circumference, or pi? It's my area. You need to show work here a little separately. Area equals 78.5. Everybody should be writing this down. But what else does area equal? How did they find 78.5? Pi. 
times radius. Pi times square. radius squared. So that means my pi times my radius squared equals 78.5. Of yes, of these two things over here, which one do I know? I know what pi is, which is what? 3.14 times r squared equals 78.5. This is an equation. How do I solve this? What? Divide, Divide by whom? Divide by 3.14 on both sides. What happens to these 3.14s over here? Canceled out. R squared equals 78.5 divided by 3.5. So, show some work. I need another sticky. Note. If I'm rounding, I'm not going to get very uh, a very precise answer. So, but I have my multiples in my notebook, so that should help. So, it might be a good idea to take out your notebooks and turn to your multiples of pi so that this long division problem is quick. Okay, can I have a decimal out here? No, how many times do I need to move it? One, two, and whatever I do to the outside? One, two. Now it's 314 divided into, yes, 7,850. I know what it is. You might even see it in your notebook. So hold, please, because I still have some people getting. Okay, where'd you find 25? In my notebook. In your notebook. That is a legitimate answer. 25 times 314 is 7,850. No remainder. So what is 25? It is the radius. It's the radius squared. Go back to your squares and look at 25. Or which answer gave you 25? Say what? 625. No, no, no. What answer is, like, what is the square root of 25 is what I'm looking for. 5. Square root of r squared is the same as the square root of 25. What times itself gives us 25? 5. Am I done? Nope. What do they want? The circumference. So R equals 5. D equals 10. Okay, and 3 is 942. And 4 is 1256. And five is 25? No, I skipped. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm glad we went a little bit further. I messed up on three. It's okay. Three. Fix it, please. Marcel bought a new pair of inline skates. Each wheel on the skates is 41 millimeters in radius. Why don't you do what uh, it's not a math degree, it's an education degree because uh, I was not the smartest cookie in the box. Like, should be like, who has a degree? Oh, yeah, oh. they did do that. That's Which shows, I know I have a degree, I'll have to hang it up on a wall for y'all. Which shows the number of millimeters traveled in five full rotations of a wheel? Give me my pencil. What are you doing? No. Which shows the number of millimeters traveled in five full rotations of a wheel? What do I need here? Good. Circumference. What else do I need? <laughs> Have I underlined everything that's important in the question? What did I leave out? Which means what? Times five. What's my diameter? 82. Circumference equals who? Pi times who? Am I done? No. 